Introducing Blendix Serial, a fantastic blender add-in that allows you to control objects, show live data, and create dynamic animations in real time using serial communication. Blendix Serial makes it easy to manipulate objects. You can move, rotate, scale, and change their properties effortlessly. The add-on also allows you to update text objects in real time with incoming data. Whether you're displaying sensor readings or any other information, Blendix Serial keeps your text objects up to date, providing dynamic visual feedback. To download the Blendix Serial add-on, simply visit the dedicated information page, where you will find all the details about this add-on. The information page offers a comprehensive overview of Blendix Serial, highlighting its features and providing other essential information. When you're ready to download Blendix Serial, just locate and click on the download button. This will take you to the official GitHub page of Blendix Serial, where you can easily download the add-on. After downloading the add-on, let's proceed with the installation. During the installation, you might encounter a module not found error. This error message means that the serial module, which is necessary for serial communication, is not installed or accessible in your Blender environment. In Blender, the serial module is not pre-installed and requires a separate installation. To resolve this issue, you'll need to download the serial module package from the Python Package Index website. Once the package is downloaded, unzip the package, find the serial folder, and copy it. Then find the modules folder in your Blender installation path and paste the serial folder there. Once the installation is complete, enable the add-on again. You can now access Blendix Serial in the Blender interface. When you enable the add-on, a connection settings panel will appear. This panel provides an easy way to establish a serial connection. It allows you to connect Blender with your desired external device for communication. The documentation page has a useful code template that you can use to test the add-on. To get started, simply copy the provided code, compile it, and upload it to your device. Once that's done, open the serial monitor to check how the data is formatted. This step helps you ensure that the data is being transmitted correctly and everything is working fine. I am going to provide the COM port and baud rate settings for the serial connection. When the connect button is clicked, a main panel will appear with five tabs. Three tabs are dedicated to mesh objects. One is for scene update delay, and one is for text object options. In the object tab, you can select an object from the drop down menu, along with its properties and axis. When the Start Movement button is clicked, the object will change its position based on the data received from the connection. Let me demonstrate by changing different properties and axis from the drop-down list. You will see the object adjusting its position according to the selected axis. To stop the movement, simply use the stop button. There is also a button for resetting the object's transform. Clicking the reset transform button will reset all transformations applied to the object in the scene. If an object is currently in motion because of its movement functionality, resetting its transforms will bring it back to its original position, rotation, and size. The ongoing movement of the object will not be interrupted or affected by the reset. 
It will continue moving as it was, but from its initial starting point, retaining its original motion without any changes made during the movement. In addition to that, you have the option to display the axis values of the object directly in the 3D viewport. This can be done by simply selecting the appropriate checkboxes. Enable the checkboxes that correspond to the axis you want to see in the viewport. Once the checkboxes are enabled, the viewport will now show the values of the selected axis for the object. This allows you to have a visual representation of the object's axis values directly in the 3D viewport, making it easier to monitor and analyze the data in real time. You can add two more objects and perform the same actions on them. Let me demonstrate this for you. In the Update Scene Delay tab, you can control how fast the scene updates and how often the visuals change in Blender. You can do this by adjusting the delay value. If you choose a smaller value, the updates will happen more frequently, giving you a smoother real-time view. On the other hand, if you go for a larger value, the updates will be slower and the visuals might not respond as quickly. You can choose any value between 1 milliseconds to 2 seconds. Blendic Serial also enables you to update text objects dynamically based on received data from the Serial connection. In the Text tab, select the text object you want to update. As data is received through the Serial connection, the text object will display the updated information in real time. You can also change the text objects the way you want, and you can do it in real time. Let me show you some more things.
Now, let's discuss how to write the code for Arduino to make this Blender add-on work. The add-on requires data to be sent in a specific CSV format through a serial communication interface. The format is as follows. Each set of coordinates represents the position or rotation values for three different objects in a 3D scene. The coordinates values are separated by commas, and the entire coordinates data and text data are separated by a semicolon. Here's an example of valid data in the expected format. The code template we used earlier to test the add-on demonstrated how to generate random data and send it to Blender. However, it requires modifications to work in different situations, which means you have to change the code every time. To solve this problem, I have created a simple library that provides a flexible and reusable solution. The library includes functions for setting object coordinates and text in Blender, as well as retrieving a properly formatted output. You can access all the information about this library on its dedicated information page. First, download the library and install it in the Arduino IDE. Once it's installed, we can proceed to write a simple code using this library. To begin, include the library at the top of your sketch. Create an instance of the Blendic Serial class. Create setup function with desired baud rate for serial communication. With the set coordinates function, you can easily assign specific values to sets of coordinates. This function takes four parameters, set number, xval, yval, and zval. Set number represents the object number, 1 to 3, and blender for which the coordinates need to be set. While xval, yval, and zval represent the corresponding values for x, y, and z respectively. You can use sensor values or manually assign values. Using the set text function, you can update the value of the text variable in the Blendic Serial class. The set text function requires one parameter, input text, of type string. This parameter represents the text you want to set. By utilizing the get formatted output function, you can obtain a formatted string that combines the coordinate data and text set in the Blendic Serial object. This string can then be sent to Blender over a serial connection. The output format of the Blendix serial library depends on the values that have been set for the coordinates and the text. Here are the different conditions and their corresponding output formats. If no coordinates have been set using the set coordinates function and no text has been set using the set text function, the output will be an empty string. If only coordinates have been set using the set coordinates function and no text has been set, the output will be look like this. If fewer than three sets of coordinates have been set, the remaining sets will contain default values of zero for each coordinate. If only text has been set using the set text function and no coordinates have been set, the output will be the text value itself. If both coordinates and text have been set, the output will combine the CSV formatted coordinates and the text. Here is a complete code for sending potentiometer values to Blender. As you can observe, the objects respond according to the potentiometer values.
And that's it. In our next video, I'll be sharing some projects using Blendix Serial, ESP8266, and Arduino. Make sure to stay with us to see these exciting demonstrations.